The coin market cap sums up everything that is talked about in this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my station to get more XRP news and news about cryptocurrencies in general. Look at this now. Ripple vs. CC case moves to final decision as Ripple turns down CC's offer of a lighter penalty. The C offered a lighter fine of $2 billion, but Ripple turned it down for $102 million. Putting it bluntly clear rules are needed. Ripple doesn't like how the SEC regulates things. The court decision could have a big impact on the price of XRP in the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Ripple Labs turned down the SEC's offer of a smaller fine of $102 million and filed a notice of supplemental authority with the court on July 2nd, 2024. During their third legal battle, Ripple made a big change in strategy by questioning the SEC's method to regulation, saying that it doesn't have clear rules and needs formal law power over Judge Annalisa Torres's court. In order to fight the SEC's plan, Ripple plans to use Binance's recent court win. The company says that formal laws are needed because the CC's methods aren't always consistent and don't have clear rules. In the notice, Ripple said that the Howey test model does not work well with intangible digital assets. Ripple voiced concerns about the CC's industry rules, saying they make things unsure for investors. The SEC is likely to talk about the finding in SECV Terraform Labs in reaction to Ripple's notice of supplemental authority. In that case, Judge Rakoff said that Terraform Labs and its founder, Duquan, had broken securities laws by failing to register Teros and Luna as stocks. The outcome of this court case is likely to have a big effect on the price of XRP and the cryptocurrency market as a whole. If Ripple wins, the price of XRP could go up, just like it did after its partial win last year. A hot win, on the other hand, could cause the Bitcoin market to drop. Ripple's most recent report shows that the ongoing lawsuit between the SEC and the company is having a big impact on the Bitcoin market. And the SEC's answer will likely have an effect on how digital assets are controlled in the future. What the court says will have an effect on the market in the long run. It looks like the SEC vs. Ripple case is coming to an end, and lawyers are arguing about what should happen next. Analysts think that the long-awaited final decision might happen in July, unless the SEC says something unexpected. Will the choice we've all been waiting for finally be made? Why is July such an important month? Attorney Fred Risbally, who is in favor of XRP, thinks that Judge Torres will decide on solutions before the end of July, at the very least by July 13th. Ripple says the fine shouldn't be more than $10 million. The SEC, on the other hand, wants a huge $2 billion fine. Risbally also said that there may still be some disagreements, even though a pre-judgment deal is unlikely. We're still open to talks. He says these dates are important in history because of Judge Torres' important ruling the year before, which said that XRP was not a security and had a big impact on the price of the cryptocurrency. Our background on history. July 13th is an important date because it marks the anniversary of the historic decision by Judge Torres that XRP is not a security. This decision is part of the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and its creditors. The price of XRP doubled in just a few hours after this ruling, showing that big changes in the market could happen based on how the case turns out in court. The date that Rispel I suggested for the final choice shows that he or she is hopeful that things will go well for Ripple and its supporters. XRP is no longer being used to prove that it is a safety measure in the current state of the case. The CC is suing Ripple for billions of dollars in damages instead of talking about the fines it needs to pay for selling stocks that weren't registered. On the other hand, Ripple has said that the SEC's demands for damages are unreasonable and should be dropped to $10 million. The CC recently lowered its demand to $102 million, which made it look like Ripple would gain. Still, Ripple turned down this offer. The damages disagreement is an important part of the case, and both sides show respect during it. The market for cryptocurrencies is affected by how the courts decide how harsh the fines should be. XRP is in a tough spot after Ripple turned down the SEC's offer to lower its fine to $102 million. This move could have an effect on Ripple and the cryptocurrency XRP, whose price is currently $0.48 and has already paid more than $200 million in court fees. XRP has gone up 1.5% in the past week and 0.8% in the past 24 hours. With a 14% rise in trade volume to $862 million, XRP could see even more gains if the market mood is good. Fred Rispoli, a famous and interested in XRP lawyer, was asked when he thought the SEC case against Ripple would end, since it has a big effect on the popular cryptocurrency. Rispoli, on the other hand, answered precisely and gave not one but two times. The law expert said that he thought the verdict in the case, which has been pending for more than three years, would be made public on July 31st. Still, Rispoli thinks it would be more dramatic if the CC's case against Ripple was decided on July 13th. Because of Judge Torse's ruling from the previous year, she said that XRP did not protect anything. There is meaning in this date. Coin prices were July 31st at the time. 
but it would be poetic if she appeared on July 13th. Don't forget that the parties are still arguing over the exact amount of damages. The main point is that Ripple lost when sales of shares to XRP institutions were found to be unregistered transactions. As a result, it now has to pay these exact remedies. But the amount of disgorgement is what caused a lot of lawsuits. The crypto business was willing to settle for as little as $10 million, but the SEC wanted billions of dollars. The long-running court case between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has a new phase after Ripple filed a supplemental authority notice. This notice, which was sent to Judge Analyst Torres on July 2nd, 2024, tries to back Ripple's case against the SEC's demand for a final ruling. Ripple says that the SEC's ways of regulating the cryptocurrency industry are flawed and unpredictable, especially when they use court decisions to do, so they point to Binance's recent court victory as an example. What did Ripple stress in its proposal as a reason why digital currencies don't easily fit into the current security system? This is also known as the Howey test. According to the seven-page paper, players in the sector are in the dark about the SEC's enforcement actions, which makes it hard to know what the law will do. The main thing that Ripple does is try to get the SEC to change its mind about how it regulates the Bitcoin market. What is the SEC going to do? In answer to what Ripple said, the C plans to talk about how it won the Terraform Labs case, where Judge Rakoff found that the company and its founder, Duquan, broke a securities laws by not registering terrorists in Luna as securities. This ruling could make the SECC's opposition to Ripple stronger. Judge Rakoff also had doubts about the XRP programmatic sales decision. Please be aware that the information given is not meant to be taken as business advice. Any purchases made based on the information on this page are not the responsibility of the people who made them. Before making any investment decisions, you should do your own study in Hessel and talk to a professional who knows what they're talking about.